uh, to the nation of Zimbabwe. What did I saw in the vision? In the vision I saw, uh, this was about the two political parties, the two dominant political parties uh, in the nation of Zimbabwe. And I saw this uh, uh, party that is not uh, the ruling one, uh, the party which is the opposition uh, part against the one that is ruling. It was like a, uh, an argument which was done, but this argument is to do with a lot of uh, some youths. I saw that the youths from these political parties uh, being involved uh, into a strategic uh, uh, violence and demonstration, not like the same way that happened in South Africa. But I saw that these young men, as they came in, they targeted some uh, shops again, like some supermarkets, and there were a lot of people in the shops, and, and these people, they were like uh, wanting to loot, not as a form like they are born to loot, but it was a mass, uh, what can I say, it was like a parade. They were uh, demonstrating about certain things that they were demanding uh, from the current government. So when I saw it, I saw a lot of young youths that were in the shop. They were massive and they were busy collecting things from the shops. But suddenly when they doing that, they did not be successful because I saw the, uh, the police of the nation of Zimbabwe. They came in their large numbers and people were being uh, arrested. Most of them were being closed in those shops. Like in the first place, they thought that uh, the police was not able to contain the situation because the number of the youths was not uh, just a small number. It was a great number. But as it happened like that, I saw now with the, the, the police uh, coming again to, uh, to displace the people and a lot of the people were being arrested. And God warned me and said, I must uh, uh, tell you in Zimbabwe for this hour, that what is happening like now, there is impatience which is taking uh, uh, part in the half of the opposition uh, part of, uh, that is, uh, uh, that the opposition uh, party in Zimbabwe. And uh, they are failing to uh, take over power. And what they want to do now, they want to do it violently. But God told me to, to pray, not for the political parties uh, to, you know, to continue to rule, or not for the opposition uh, to come and take over. But the message was to say, we need to pray for violence. Because I saw is this young man were being named by the police. It will happen like more most of them, they were being jailed, some of them, uh, they were being destroyed, others, they even died on the spot. So God wants us to pray, not only for the opposition, not only for the ruling party, but we should pray for the prevalence of peace in the nation of Zimbabwe. Amen. Amen. You will see it when it happens, you say, prophet said it. For two weeks I've been hearing this word, God said, you must go and distribute the word which I told you concerning the nation. So what do you worry about? You just raise up your hands. Maybe to be your sister, to be your brother, also maybe caught in the scum. Maybe to be also you being caught in the scum. I want us just to go ahead with prayer. I know that we serve a God of peace. That's why he's called uh, the Prince of Peace. You want to go ahead and say, God, let priests to prevail in the land of Zimbabwe. Even if they're going to be a lot of fights, uh, within parties, if they get a lot of fights among his political leaders, but let you allow the peace to prevail in the nations. Don't allow any single man who shall lose his life for the sake of violence, don't allow any blood to be shed in the nation of Zimbabwe because of violence or because of demonstration. Just raise up.